Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Acres Evolving. A couple of days ago, I went around my property and I did a tour video. Um, when I went in to edit that video, the audio on it was all messed up. So that's why there was not a video on Sunday. Um, I'm gonna be doing the tour video over again this evening um, when the sun goes down a little bit and the shadows don't look so bad on everything. Um, but until then, I have a couple of things that I need to get done. I need to work in the area behind my hydrangea hedge and I also need to plant a couple of things. But let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what I'm gonna be doing. All right, so I'm gonna be working back here behind my hydrangea hedge. Um, these hydrangeas are doing pretty good for the most part. Um, they start out this white color and then they start turning pink and then they turn into this dark red color. So this one over here on the end is doing a whole lot better than the rest of them. Um, I have some burning going on, like this one right here. I've had to cut some of the blooms off of some of them, but this one right here, you can see that it's starting to burn a little bit. And I was expecting that um, this year, since this is their first full year in the ground and they're not really established into the ground a whole lot. Um, I was expecting them to burn a little bit. And then next year, their stems will be strong enough to hold up their blooms and they won't burn near as bad as they have been this year. But anyway, I'm gonna be working back behind here today. This landscaping fabric I have down here, I used some cheap landscaping fabric that I had just laying around. I had some extra of it, so I put it down. And then I had some more expensive landscaping fabric that I bought through the rest of this area. And you definitely get what you pay for with landscaping fabric. Um, as you can see, this landscaping fabric down here, the weeds are growing up underneath it and pushing the landscaping fabric up. So definitely not happy with this landscaping fabric. So I'm going to be removing this cheap stuff and then putting the more expensive stuff down, which is this DeWitt weed barrier that I got. It's the same thing as this that I have around the rest of the area. So I'm gonna pull this cheap landscaping fabric up and pull the weeds and then lay the new down. And then I'm gonna start mulching this area back behind here. Now with the landscaping fabric, I'm not gonna be putting this landscaping fabric down in flower beds. I'm gonna be putting it back behind this hydrangea area because I don't plan on planting anything back there. Anywhere that I don't plan on planting anything or in uh, pathways and stuff like that, I'll put it down to keep the weeds back. But in regular flower beds, I am just, I put a three inch layer of mulch down and that keeps the weeds away for the most part um, and keeps it manageable. I put weed fabric down in the uh, flower bed that I put the David Austin roses in and I'm just finding that it's not necessary. In all of my other flower beds, I just put about two to three inch layer of mulch down and it keeps the weeds manageable. But this area back here behind the hydrangeas, um, I don't plan on planting anything back there. And these hydrangeas will get up to six to eight feet tall and wide. So when they get their full mature size, I'm not gonna wanna go back behind them and pull weeds. So that's why I'm laying the landscaping fabric down back behind here before I mulch. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the camera set up and get the landscaping fabric switched out and the weeds pulled, and then I can start mulching back here. Look at this. That landscaping fabric did absolutely nothing. All these weeds right here, came up underneath that landscaping fabric. Well, that's the last time I used cheap landscaping fabric.
Okay, so now that I have this area mulched, it looks a whole lot better. Um, I had just enough to get this side done, and then I'll have to go get another load of mulch to get this side done. But as you can tell, this mulch looks a little bit different than this mulch over here. Um, this new mulch is a lot more shredded than this mulch over here. Um, I think I'm going to stick with this new mulch. Um, for one, it's cheaper. And for two, since it's shredded, it's a lot easier to spread around and cover everything. So now that this part's done, the next thing I need to do is work on this specific area. I'm going to get the ax and cut this stump out. It's pretty rotted, so it shouldn't take much to get it out. And then I'm going to dig out the weeds all the way to this line right here. And then I have a plant that I'm going to plant over here. And then I have a couple of other plants that I'm going to plant in another area. Now this, as you can see, I have the edge cut out for this flower bed already. And I'm going to be ripping out all the weeds and grass from this area all the way down to here. Um, but obviously I don't have time to do that today. So I'm just gonna stop right there at that line and then start planting. Okay, so I have this area cleared out for the most part. Um, this stump was pretty easy to get out because it was pretty much rotted all the way through. And then these two stumps, I'm either gonna have to get a stump grinder and grind them out, which will probably be easier, but more expensive, or I can just dig them out. <laughs> Haven't decided what I'm gonna do with those yet. And then later, I'm gonna continue all the way down and remove all the weeds. The next thing I need to do is go in and place the plants where I want them and then plant them up. And then I'll tell you a little bit about each one of them. All right, so this first plant that I'm gonna be planting is called a dense spreading yew. This is an evergreen shrub that'll get about three to four feet tall and about four to six feet wide. So I'm really wanting it to fill in the side of this flower bed over here. There's the hydrangeas. And then I want it to fill in this side of the flower bed and kind of divide this flower bed up from this one over here. Now this is an evergreen, meaning that it'll stay green through winter, which is really good for winter interest. I actually need to focus on that a little bit more. Um, I have a couple of things that are good for winter interest in my garden, but I could use a whole lot more. So this will help out and give a little color during the winter months. And the plants that I have in front of it are called serendipity alliums. These plants are from the onion family. So when you break off one of the blooms, it actually smells like onions. And these bloom globe-shaped purple blooms, and they bloom mid to late summer. I got these on clearance, so they're not blooming right now. And I'm not going to be able to plant them up right now because this one over here needs to go right where the stump is and I need to dig that stump out first. And these alliums get about 10 to 15 inches wide and about 15 to 20 inches tall. So I'll go ahead and get the shrub planted and then take you over to the other area where I have a couple of other things to plant.
All right, so the next plants that I'm gonna plant are these two lilies. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but I think it's pronounced tiny, pad high, Asiatic lily. I probably butchered that name, but um, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. Um, this one has dark purple blooms with white tips on them. And I'm gonna be putting these up here with on this side of my David Austin roses. These will get about 12 to 16 inches wide and about 16 to 18 inches tall. So I may need to go get a couple more to fill in this area, or I may get something else to fill in the rest of the area. But I think these will look really good over here by these David Austin roses. And speaking of the roses, these have done awesome this year. This is the first year they've been in the ground. and they've gotten huge. I should probably cut it back, but with all these blooms, I just can't bring myself to cut it back. And it looks like this flower bed could use a little bit more mulch as well. This is the flower bed I was talking about earlier that I put landscaping fabric down, and I really wish I wouldn't have done that now, because now I'm gonna have to cut it out to plant these. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these planted up. I pushed it to the limits today. I am almost completely out of sunlight. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next one.